Hi everyone, thanks for coming by and checking out my video on Isa. And today I'm going to be um, giving you guys this video uh, celebrating St. Patrick and with one of my collection, favorite collection uh, from St. Patrick's uh, T.Y. Beanie Babies. Uh, I do want to uh, express all my gratitude, my love and appreciation for you guys staying so close to all my shorts and my videos, which are actually um, both one in Spanish and the other shorts are in English. So I decided to do this video today to dedicate it to all those who actually uh, are following me and uh, liking all the different well work that I'm doing with this collection that I have since the 90s when my daughter was actually born. Today I'm gonna talk to you uh, about this one, which is one of my funny collections because they all have the same colors but in different tones you know and usually St. Patrick is one of the one of the festivities that uh, are actually is celebrated in the states and other countries as well especially near in Ireland where actually this is a very uh, usual tradition for them and they celebrate with family and friends especially um, you know, with drinks and uh, all different activities and, and and parties and things like that. So it's a good excuse for us to go out there and have a drink and kind of share shares with our friends as well in green um, in green colors, <laughs> of course. At work, I remember going to work with these green colors all the time, and we have cookies and we have all kind of food around the table in our office. But I just want to uh, share with you guys this. Yeah, it's, it's a saying of prosperity and abundance, um, which actually is reflected in in this clover, which is um, for so many means that is luck. Um, they do actually share a very special uh, moment with me every year on the 17th because it's a mem memorable time for me uh, when I had my first daughter and... Um, well, she spent time with me and she went to heaven, but I do remember her every 17 every year. So this one right here is Erin. Erin is, um, is a little, um, it's a little straight uh, green color. Um, it does have a clover in his chest and actually had the tag and the tag is actually dated March 17, 1997. This one that is here is Dublin. Dublin um, has a little bit more bright and kind of like sparkling color in it. And he actually is from 2002, 2001, I think. Yeah, 2001. He's from 2001. <laughs> I, I just don't want to give you the wrong information. And this one right here is Shamrock. Shamrock is a very uh, rustic, a little bit more different than the other ones. He's from 2000, 2000, yes. And um, he does have a little clover as well with a little green a ribbon around to like everyone else have different tones, you know, uh, which make them so unique and so different. This one right here is clover. Clover has clover <laughs> printed all over the place. So this must really give me good luck because I want to keep this one. <laughs> this one will remember. Uh, every every moment that uh, I want to wish luck to everyone, you know, so I can share this with everyone. And this one, uh, he was actually um, born in the in the stamp or the ticket um, right here in March 17, 2001. So they all have tickets as well. And the tash and the tag uh, is actually printing their names and the date that they were actually made. And this is... Killary. This is Killary. Killary. Um, sometimes I have a hard, hard time remembering this one, but this one I love it because he is so unique. All his colors are just, just so bright, mixed with a little bit of white and green at the same time, with a little pot of gold and the rainbow. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cute. I just love it. I just love this one. I don't know why. I like it a lot. And he seems to be very friendly. Just he's the tone of his eyes and his little black nose so i do also have this little tiny uh, baby the, the teeny tiny babies which are actually from the mcdonald collection as well from 1997 and i do have it in, the, in their cage and everything 
just not to um, get it all dust but all these cases are pretty good for them and as you know they're made of uh, pellets bee pellets and also uh, polyester which actually make them a little bit more flexible when they're playing or just to keep them as a decoration this is a collection that I have since the 90s I've been collecting this and I kept them in very good condition free of smoking and odor or any dirt because I do like my collection as well but I do have some pieces that I have sold throughout the years and I started very early when my daughter was actually in her she was what at two years old because she was born in the 90s and she loved having this around uh, I just it was actually her idea for for me to do this to go ahead and start uh, you know selling my collection some of it not all and also doing these videos um as so i want to share with you guys i give you guys all my thanks and i'm so so grateful that you guys check out my videos and my shorts and you guys like it and that makes me feel really really good about doing this for everyone that is also part of this club of collecting the ty beanie babies which i enjoy very much doing and keeping in touch with everyone that is also doing so don't forget to like my videos and also subscribe and also share so thanks a lot again my name is isa i'll see you guys soon thank you and happy st patrick's day cheers